wind, wind. Jesus uh, speaks to Nicodemus. Nicodemus, a teacher of the law, right? This is a man of letters, John 3. He comes to Jesus by night. Uh, Already there's kind of a fear and a cowardice, but there's also kind of an acknowledgement of what, what is before him. Because, you know, when it comes to God, when it comes to God, sometimes we're not so confident as we think we are. When we truly meet the spirit and the truth of God, even though if we're men of letters and scholars and we know this and we know that, when we really see the truth, sometimes we kind of go low and, and come by night, right? Because we're not so confident. It says in Hebrews, it is a terrifying thing to fall into the hands of the living God. Nicodemus comes by night to Jesus and he says, we know you are from God because otherwise you couldn't do these things you're doing these miraculous signs. So Nicodemus, a man of letters, comes to Jesus and he has an issue. He's saying, we know you're of God. Well, then what's the conflict, Nicodemus? Well, he, he, the conflict is, well, what does this mean? Where does it go? There's something here that's, that's drawing Nicodemus even in the night, bringing him to his knees, as it were. But here's what I love, right? Wind. Jesus is so much bigger. Matthew 7, 29, after Jesus speaks of obeying him, doing as he says, like building your house on a rock, verse 29, it says the people were amazed at Jesus' teaching because he taught as one with authority. You know, the devil can quote scripture. In Matthew 4, 1 to 11, we have the devil quoting from Psalm 90, um, He knows scripture better than any of us will know scripture. But the devil does not speak scripture with authority that is filled with the Spirit of God. Jesus told the Sadducees, Matthew 22, 29, he said, You are in error because you do not know the scriptures and the power of God. John 6, 63, Jesus says, My words are spirit and they are life. The power of God is where Uh, where the Word of God, whether it's written or in spirit, where the Word of God is of Christ. Because Christ is the living Word, and He is the Word of God made flesh, John 1.14. So here we have Nicodemus, a man who had his head in the law. He was a teacher, but now he sees Jesus. Now he has to move by night. And sure enough, Jesus, who speaks with authority, His words are spirit. They're not just letters on a page. He is the living word and his words are spirit and they're life. And he says to Nicodemus, he says, Nicodemus, you have to be born of the spirit. You have to be born again. Verse seven, he says, if you're not born again, you cannot see the kingdom of God, he says in verse three. And and he is stretching Nicodemus. And sure enough, he, he, he lifts him off the page, so to speak. Verse 8, he says, Nicodemus, he said, being born of the Spirit is like the wind. He said, you hear it sound, but you don't know where it comes from or where it's going. That is to be set free by the truth of God. It lifts you off the page and it sets you free in such a way that you can't trap it Any more than you can trap the wind, you can't determine its trajectory, but you will feel its wind, and that's a beautiful thing. Jesus speaks of of belief in him. Uh, He who believes in him, streams of living water will flow from within him. John 7, 37 to 38. I love the image in Psalm 42, 7, where where the psalmist says, uh, a deep calls to deep in the roar of your waterfalls. So again, we have these natural uh, phenomena that, that's just huge. We have wind, we have rivers, we have the roar, the sound, deafening sound of your waterfalls. And then the psalmist says, all your waves and breakers have swept over me. This experience of God with us. Isaiah 7:14. Jesus, Emmanuel, God with us. So he says to, to Nicodemus, he says, Nicodemus, you, you need to be set free. You need the Spirit of God to just blow in, blow through you. Then he lifts it again. Verse 14, he, he even says, it's, it's like he says, Nicodemus, uh, are you ready? He says, I, you know, if I can't even speak to you of earthly things 
because Nicodemus started getting all pedantic about being born again. He said, how can I speak to you about heavenly things? Then he points him back to Numbers 21. He says, as Moses lifted up the serpent in the desert, such a mysterious passage. He said, so the Son of Man will be lifted up and anyone who believes in him will be saved. All of a sudden, Jesus is connecting dots of this Old Testament mysterious story of of Moses lifting up a snake. And when they were bitten by a snake, or maybe when we're bitten by sin, they looked to the snake and they were healed. We look to the cross and we are saved. But look at what Jesus did. Nicodemus came to him by night with this written code and Jesus lifted him off the page in spirit. And he started connecting all the dots of past, present, and future through faith in Jesus Christ. God bless you.